The female co-worker who was with Johnny Wachter when he was slain in downtown Los Angeles last weekend was named Anita Joy. Joy is now talking about what transpired the night the former employee of General Hospital was killed. Adoring Johnny Joy wrote on Instagram, I've needed to take some time to collect myself and my thoughts. After such unbelievable occurrences, I'm here to be Johnny's voice. I was with him in his final moments. Please follow his narrative as it unfolds by swiping through the top images in this post. According to Joy, Johnny had this amazing ability that was truly just his genuine nature to make everyone and anyone feel so special in his eyes. He treated everyone as though they were his true priority, regardless of how well you know him. It was impossible to not smile around him, he brightened any space. You felt safe with him because of his magnetic aura, which drew you in with ease. He truly saw you and treated everyone with love, respect, and compassion, Joy goes on. He had a great sense of style, was amusing in a way that made him even more endearing, was full of morals and work ethic. And never once did he make fun of others or make you feel insecure about yourself. Being with him just filled your heart. He called me Anita Bonita and I hope that the sound of his voice greeting me each time I saw him stays in my mind. With only a glance into his large blue eyes and a broad, silly smile, Johnny instantly won your heart, the woman claims. Easily among the greatest men I have ever met. I feel very lucky to have shared his world and him with me. Although his passing has broken my heart, I think I have found the greatest guardian angel there is, Joy adds, Johnny Wacky, I adore you. Wachter's companion said, These criminals need to be caught. Level 8 needs to provide parking for their late-hour staff, as they originally promised. Level 8 must help Johnny's family in order to honor and respect him for all the hard work and effort he did for them. This cannot be something that isn't responded to with action. It needs to be addressed in a manner to prevent anything like this ever happening again. Joy says, please help his family if you can. They're on the other side of the country, and it will be very difficult for them financially and emotionally to get Johnny home. My bio contains a link to his GoFundMe. Perry Shen answered Joy's touching post. I am so sorry that you both had to experience this, and that this is how you will always be connected, Shen said. But also grateful that he spent his last moments with a friend. Maine Medical Facility May 31, a Friday warning, warns, Jason Sonny's in trouble, unexpected press leak, Carly tells Molly everything, spoilers for Friday, May 31's episode of General Hospital, GH, indicate that Laura Collins will freak out about a press leak. Laura will wonder who obtained the information and chose to disseminate it, so she will discuss this with Jordan Ashford. Laura will obviously be upset about the issue. Regardless of whether this has to do with Sonny Corintho's attack on Dex Heller or something else entirely, Portia Robinson will be informed by Curtis Ashford that there must be more to the story, so they will take on a task and work to uncover the complete truth. He'll talk to Elizabeth Baldwin about Harrison Chase and try to get some understanding because Hamilton Finn recently lost his father. Finn was deeply affected by Gregory Chase's passing so Chase will persuade Liz to recognize that as the cause of his unusual behavior. Liz will still worry about Finn's sobriety, but Chase will guarantee that he will be monitored and supported to stay on course. John Jagger Cates will go on a tirade at GH about someone playing directly into the hands of someone else. John might question Carly Spencer about her meetings with Jack Brennan and claim that she is interfering with the FBI's probe. Carly will eventually speak with Molly Lansing Davis as well, and she will demand that whatever she says should remain private. Molly might become even more alarmed about Sonny's erratic behavior and the toll it's having on Christina Corinthos Davis, once Carly provides updates on all the most recent Sonny news. Jason Morgan will then warn Sonny that he's in serious trouble but Sonny will object and pretend that Jason is no longer able to offer advice on his life. However, in Friday's episode, 
Jason will make a choice that enrages Sunny, which will result in even more strife. Jason will also be on edge due to a possible warehouse attack. Jason might believe Sunny sent someone after him at first because it appears that someone will arrive armed. Of course, given that Pikeman is still working on a Jason elimination scheme, this could potentially be someone sent by Valentin Cassidine. In any case, Jason will undoubtedly survive to tell the story, but he may have some developing concerns and may even forecast that the threat will worsen.